rainy, cloudy, cold day. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Got to put these uh, these gloves on because it is raining. It just stopped for a little bit right now, but it's about to start again. Got to put these uh, waterproof torque gloves right here. These are pretty nice. We're going to get on the bike right now because we're going to be heading over to get my front suspension done. Finally, yes. I know we've been talking about it for a long time, but yeah, we're finally going to get that done today. Let's make sure we put this thing on ray mode. There we go. At least it's not freezing cold today. So we got a uh, high of 42-ish today around there. So it's not too bad. I haven't been on the bike for the past few weeks because the crummy, shitty weather we've been having here has been horrible. Non-stop of little snow here and there. Uh, 30 degree weather. Dude, come on. You gotta move up. But anyways, yeah, we're heading over to the Tour Custom Cycle Shop right now. We're gonna be installing the new suspension on the bike. So tune in for that video that should be up in a few days. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to take the opportunity kind of to talk about my regrets of selling my low rider s yes they are regrets and it's like lately it's just been hitting me i'm like yo like i i really miss that bike i i really do and it's uh it's it's been it's been some time now it's been almost a year since i got rid of that bike maybe um and i miss it for for several reasons so obviously while i had that bike i had the road glide here i also had the fxr during that time as well so i had three bikes in the garage so going from three bikes down to just one bike kind of sucks <laughs> i mean hey you only got one ass you only need one bike right but it's nice to have a secondary option or a third option it's really nice to have those options where you have a different type of bike different type of build and it's um just a different flavor man um and another reason why it's been kind of like hitting me is because i was looking back in that build and i'm like wait a minute like i i was nowhere near done with that build i was halfway done there halfway done and you know we we, we did quite a few things to that bike a lot but let me tell you when I say half, we were only halfway done. Um, I also miss, you know, I also miss having a, a, a smaller bike to kind of move around. I mean, I love riding this road glide, but it's, um, you know, sometimes to move it around the garage, it, it's, it sucks because it's heavy as hell. Um, I, I, a light bike is just nice to have at times when you have a big bike like this you get on your smaller bike you just you know whip around and do all sorts of stuff it feels nice <clears throat> you got a little windshield wiper here on this glove let me uh clean my visor <laughs> it does work pretty good too <laughs> i wish i would have put the gopro on here to show you guys how uh how it's working but yeah if you guys are interested in these gloves, check out the uh, Torque website. I'll be linking it down below. Going back to the uh, the Lowrider S, man. Yeah, that I, I I wish, and I'll say it, I wish I would have kept that bike. I wish I would have kept it. It's just you know you know what it is. It's also like the nostalgic feel of it. That bike was kind of like the bike that built the channel um, and made it into. It's just something real special. I grew a lot with that bike. Oh, brother. I knew I should have looked at the traffic. Look at this. It's also the bike that's basically my logo. <laughs> so it's like kind of weird now having a logo and I'm like, well, it's no low rider S anymore. Maybe it's time to change the logo up. Now, don't get me wrong. This bike right here 
is a ton of fun and I love it. And we are still working with this bike. We've done more to this bike than we did to the low rider. I still have a lot of plans and changes that I got to do to this one here. Just kind of wish I still had that bike though, man. That bike was, uh, was special. Very, very, very special. But who knows, man? The cool part is that the, uh, the person who purchased the bike has stayed in contact with me. I actually sold the bike to one of my subscribers. He had the bike for a few months. He also had a few bikes. Um, he ends up selling it to another one of my subscribers. Uh, and this guy was very, very eager to get his hands on his bike. He reached out to me via Instagram, sent me a message, and he started telling me about how he literally watched me build that bike out. Um, and then when he saw it for sale, he was really, really eager to get his hands on it. And uh, he was telling me about the whole process, buying it from the other guy. And, you know, you, you could just tell that the bike is in good hands now. I mean, the, from, from what it seems, the guy really loves the bike. He's enjoying it. He sends me pictures all the time. And it's just pretty cool to know that the person who has it is taking care of it. You know, that's, uh, I've, I've, I don't know, I've, I've always, I've always wanted to sell things to people who I know that are going to take care of it. I've had tons of cars, you know, quite a few bikes. Um, but I, I always like selling stuff to people that, you know what, this person is really going to enjoy it. They're, they're going to love it and they're going to take care of it. I've also gone down the rabbit hole thinking, well, you know what, maybe one day if this guy ever says, you know what? Um, I think I'm gonna sell the bike. It's cool to know that I I'm in contact with him because if if I'm because if the time is right and all the the stars align, it could be a possibility where I could be like, you know what? I want my bike back. That specific bike, I want it back. That'd be pretty cool. I've also have gone down the rabbit hole thinking, well, maybe I should just get another low rider S. You know buy a used one and pick it up from where I left off at you know that's how much I missed that bike what do we have here oh sheesh that doesn't look good I hope they're all right I miss doing these vlogs. I feel like I haven't been doing as many as I used to before. And I don't know, like, l let me know down below. Do, do you guys prefer these type of vlogs where I just get on the bike and just tell a story or talk about something? Do you guys prefer the, uh, the sit downs in the garage, the conversations? Do you guys prefer the, um, the videos in the, in the shop, installing parts and all that stuff? Or are you the type of person who just wants a little bit of everything? Let me know down below, please. I, I really, really want to know. But I feel like, like I definitely have neglected kind of this, this thing right here. Which is, is kind of what started it all. It's just me getting on the bike, having a conversation with you guys. I think we got to get back to that. And start doing more of that. Even if it's just to get on the bike for a few minutes and... And just talk and vent. Ugh, goddamn rain. Anyways, that's gonna be the uh, conversation for today. We're almost at the shop. Let me know down below if you missed the Lowrider S content. Do you want to see more Lowrider S content? Should I get another Lowrider S? Should I try to buy my old one? I don't know. Just drop your thoughts down below. You get to know what you're thinking. Also, there's a ton of content coming out right now on my channel on the new 2024 Road Glide and, and Street Glide. And there's gonna be a lot more huge surprise. They're gonna keep coming out little by little right now. So if you're watching this video, they're probably coming out right now. But by the time this video is out, I'm gonna be in Vegas already, riding the brand new Roguelide ST and brand new Roguelide and Street Glide models. So yes, I, I'm just saying, cause I, I should be doing it right now. <laughs> As we speak, this video should come out within like four or five days. Anyways. Let the force be with you, ride safe, and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.